most importantly, it would be more beneficial that that green alert goes out and then we get that veteran while they're still alive and then maybe we can bring them home, home to heal with their brothers. Delaware, Kentucky, and Texas are just a few of the states that already have green alert laws in place. More than 6,000 veterans committed suicide in 2020. The green alert will work much like an amber alert. It will let you know what you should look out for when a veteran is missing, and you should get a notification to your phone, all in hopes to bring the veteran home. I think here locally that we just noticed that at the end of February when we had a veteran who was in distress that went missing. And you know, tragically, when we, the veteran was found, the veteran had taken his life. Jimmy Rayfeld is vice president of the Mary T. Klinger Veteran Resource Center. He has seen recently what Indiana needs a green alert system. We had one not too long ago, actually, that had there been a green alert issued, the outcome would have been much different and his family would not be suffering. To issue a green alert, police will need a description of the veteran and whether or not they are a danger to themselves or others. A big help for any organization that's helping veterans, not just ours, but police departments, hospitals, anybody, any veterans organization, such as the American Legions or the VFWs. If you are a veteran in crisis or no one, you can receive help by calling the numbers on your screen. Hannah Grace, Star City News, Tippecanoe County.